There are some amazing things you want to get early in Starfield, including a really nice spaceship, legendary armor, and some weapons like the micro gun. You already see it, but with this weapon, you shred enemies, especially nice when there are like multiple targets in front of you. It's also really good against robot enemies, and again, you can easily get it early on. In New Atlantis, you go from your spaceship to the left like this, and then just run straight until you see the Terra Brew Covey. And then next to that you find an elevator to go to the well area. Then when exiting the elevator, go to your right and enter this armor and weapon store. There's a back area that you can enter and here you can just grab what you want. But we actually want to steal that weapon from the store itself. There are namely two large crates that both contain the micro gun. But I think the one on the front desk is the easiest to get. And it's handy to have the stealth skill unlocked. So just spend one skill point in it if you haven't already and then you will see your stealth meter when crouching. And if you are hidden you can steal something without the shopkeeper sounding the alarm and the crate is like really big. So just hugging the desk will make it possible to loot it. And they got this amazing weapon that I've been using a lot throughout the game. Easily takes out enemies. Enemies also drop ammo for it pretty often but you can actually buy ammo at this shop as well and really steal as much as you want as long as you're hidden. Like there are some other outfits, booster packs. I in particular liked the Settler Comfort that the shopkeeper is wearing as well, so recommend that too. Again, you can take everything as long as the shopkeeper doesn't see you. Now you want to stay out of trouble after this though, as the moment you are caught, you will lose all your stolen goods, including the micro gun. So of course saving before stealing is smart as well. Luckily the other items I talk about in this video including that legendary armor you can already get early will stay. But to get this we will need some more firepower. So I totally recommend that you pick up the amazing elegance pistol. Early on in the main story you will go to Aquila and in that city from the spaceship you want to walk straight like this. And then at one point on your left hand side you will find the Roland arms opposite of the bank. Here you can buy this unique weapon which again is totally worth it as with the shattering perk it breaks through even the strongest armor like two shots with this weapon and you kill most regular enemies and it's also amazing against the larger health targets and that is what we will encounter during the secret quest that you have to do to get the legendary armor set and also an amazing spaceship. I will tell you what you need to know of course if you like the video so far then leaving a like on it would be awesome and subscribe for way more spoiler free Starfield tips and tricks like this. So the earliest you can like trigger this special mission is during the old neighborhood's main quest which is the second one you do. No story spoilers of course in this video but for this you will need to infiltrate the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Here you'll be finding spacer enemies and they can drop a note called Secret Outpost. If you loot this and then read it in your inventory menu, the Mantis mission will appear in your lock. Now important, if you already completed the old neighborhood mission and did not loot the note, then you can go back to the Star Yard, but then the bodies will be gone. So you cannot get the note, but there are luckily other ways. Polygon reports that they got it during the Back to Factor our main mission where you're fighting pirates so worth keeping an eye out during that one also during the first main mission on Aquila you'll meet Emma and can then grab quests from the Free Star Rangers mission boards. If you do the ones where you have to go after a gang leader, then there is a chance that these are of the Spacer faction, which was the case for me, so then you can get the note here. Now the missions are random for everyone, so sadly you have to be lucky that you're battling this faction, but again, it's possible. What I can say is that these leaders can drop legendaries, you also have to be lucky for that. But what you can do is save before the fight and then repeat them for different loot. Chances are not that high though. But I still thought it was worth noting that these leaders can drop pretty great stuff. Another thing you can do to get the secret node outpost if you still don't have it. Is space jump to Porima. Which is quite far. So jump to planets that are closer if you can't immediately make the jump. Now look on the space map for any hostile activity or other ships. And then you can try and board them. Because these will have enemies of the space spacer faction on them. Now also here you have to be lucky that they show up but go back often and they should spawn. Of course to easily board the ship you want to unlock the targeting control system skill so you can focus on the engines which makes boarding easier and if you have trouble taking out these higher level ships you can also put the game on very easy for the time being 
and do it that way. Again, getting that note and the quest is more than worth it. So once you have the Mantis mission, you can immediately fast travel to the start of it, which will take you to Denabola, then land at the secret outpost. The mission is quite straightforward. There are a lot of enemies here, so that's why bringing good weapons and a lot of ammo is really handy. And then at one point, you will meet Livy. Quite annoying guy, but don't worry about him. You can take him with you. I will not say more to avoid spoilers. I also, by the way, stole from him and was successful. Now, but behind him is a door that will take you to a puzzle. And the correct way to solve this puzzle is to walk over the buttons while making the word Tyrannus. If you don't do this, turrets that are like hanging there will shoot at you. Now, this might happen even near the end while making the word, but they can just run to the other side, press the red button, and they will also complete the puzzle. You can also just destroy the turrets if you want, but I found like walking over the buttons while making Tyrannus is actually the easiest way. So if you then continue, you will get to the secret hangar of the outpost. To follow the mission markers for the legendary outfit, and for the ship, you want to press button so it goes up and then you want to fast travel back to your old ship and then from there you can easily reach it go inside sit in the cockpit and then it's all yours and it by the way also contains some nice extra loot on the top floor so totally check that out and yeah now you have an amazing ship very early on if you want to switch up your regular cutter for a more fancy one they totally want to get heller's cutter a blue rarity version that is more effective against the robots as well you can easily miss it but again can already get it very early on because very early in the main story you get the quest back to vectera the planet where you actually start the game but now when you come back they actually fixed the switch that was first broken in front of the white outpost so you can now enter that building so once you are inside go to the right and they will spot a heller's cutter a unique resource gathering gun i don't think it's better than the regular one but it's different and i also like how equipping it makes your character choose this one when in the scanning mode and if you miss the weapon during that mission you can always come back to vectera to still pick it up also nice to get or to actually know about early on in the game is that after the old neighborhood main mission you get access to the basement of the lodge which can go to from the entrance and then go right like you will be going back to the lodge often or you can easily fast travel back to it via the star map and then you immediately have access to every type of workbench and crafting station and if you go up the stairs and run like this hug the wall to your right and then eventually head right into the second room you will find a safe with an unlimited amount of space. So you can store a ton of stuff that you want to keep, but have no plans of using often. Really nice. Now the other thing you totally want to get early, this might be one of the most important unlocks in the game, is something you get from the Into the Unknown main mission. It's pretty long, you can easily just ignore it while doing other stuff, but I recommend that you focus on it as fast as possible, because again, this unlocks something really cool for your character. They already teased it in the Starfield Direct, just do this mission and then the amazing unlocks are yours. That's all I will say for now. Subscribe, of course, for way more spoiler-free Starfield tips and tricks. A like on the video would really help me out. And check out our previous video with amazing skills you want to get early by clicking on the screen. For now, I will speak to you soon, though. Goodbye.